So, uh, I got this little uh, Milwaukee chainsaw here. And uh, all in all, I really like it. It's really handy and everything. Um, the marketing wank on this is bullshit and it is not at all faster than a fucking, you know, gas saw and blah, blah, blah. But I don't know. Maybe I'll make another video about that. Uh, but um, all in all, I really like it. The problem is that it has a horrendous oil leak. Um, and, uh, Hmm. Yeah, anyways, it's got a horrendous oil leak. Um, it'd leave a pretty good puddle underneath it if you just let it sit overnight. And this is the little port here that the oil comes up from. And uh, I guess I should have had a fucking O-ring pick ready. But um, I found some other guy's channel. I don't remember the name of it at the moment. I'll leave a link in the description um, that he had the same issue and took his saw apart and seen that uh that o-ring was damaged um i guess he replaced that o-ring and has not had any problems with it since from my understanding um and i'm hoping that that's going to be the case for me too um and of course i'm gonna one of these days hopefully soon i'm gonna get a actual video camera um, to hopefully be able to get better video quality for shit that's really up close like this. Um, but on the video that I found, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description. And evidently on my saw here, you can tell that this O-ring is kind of rolled over um, like you know potentially it was too large of an o-ring and when the cover when this cover plate is installed it uh, doesn't seal properly um, so I got random assortment of o-rings here some Harbor Freight specials See if I can find one that fits, slap it on there, and see what she does. Um, and then I guess I'll use the saw a bit and everything and uh, see if we have resolved the oil leak issue because uh, that's the my one biggest complaint with this is that it leaks oil like a sieve. So hopefully this will do it, and I'll make a follow-up video later on uh, when we see what happens.